Hey, y'all ain't subscribed yet? Man, like, share, subscribe. Hit that like button right now. Y'all, who are y'all according to the Bible? Do y'all believe in the Bible? You believe in it, right? So who are you according to the Bible? I know he directed y'all to this sign. On the left side is what God calls us. To the right of that is the names that we'll call today. So which one of these names would you be according to the Bible? Judah, right? And you would be what? That's an I. Issachar. You know how important that is? Your name is Israel, right? You know what Israel mean? Give me that. You know, the deal is, if we don't know who we are, we don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Right. So how would you ever be able to please your God if you don't even know who your God is? Right. You know what I mean? My sister, I'm quite sure you don't been to a Christian church before, right? Yeah. So did they ever teach that there are people called the Israelites in the Christian church? Why, why, why do you think not? Oh, okay. So who set up these churches then? Thank you. Right. You agree with that, uh, Israel? Now why, if, if the churches are supposed to be teaching from this book, why aren't they teaching who we are according to this book? What do you think? You're 13, right? At your age of 13, has anybody ever told you that God calls you special? No? Let me show you how special your name is. Read that. The book of Genesis chapter 32 and verse 28. Come on up. And he said, thy name shall be no more Jacob, but Israel. But Israel, your name is actually found in the Bible. Anybody ever told you that? They told you that before? But did they tell you what your name means? What does your name mean? You don't know, right? That's what your brothers are here. Read. For as a prince hast thou power with God. So you, your name means prince of the power. If you are a prince, my sister, if, if, if Israel means prince of the power, then what does that mean about our sisters? That makes y'all what? Princesses. Yes, right. We ain't gonna y'all ain't gonna be queens until we get back into our kingdom. Right. You know what I mean? But you know how special that is to understand? For us to know that our names have meaning, that we are from the chosen. We are God's chosen people. Right. right. The, the people that you, no matter where you go, even at your age of 13, does it look like we, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, does it look like we're living in the best conditions? You know. No, right? I guarantee your father and your mother, they work hard, don't they? Just to try to make ends meet. How much better would it be if your father and your mother didn't have to work? They could spend time teaching you who you are out of the Bible. But we can't do that in our neighborhoods. They put us in our situation so that they continuously keep us working so we'll never learn who we truly are according to the Bible. Right. Let's go a little bit further to find out just how special you are according to the Bible. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. My sister, what's your name? Asaphire. Have you Asaphire, right? Yeah. Have you ever heard that God has a chosen people? No. What about you? You ever heard that? Why aren't they teaching us this? Yeah. But I guarantee you, in our neighborhoods where we live, how many churches do you pass going to your house? Right. How many? Five. About five. You know what I mean? We got all these churches around us, but they're not teaching us who we are. Right. So in order to be that special people, there's something that we must do in order for us to be above all people. Deuteronomy 28. Now, in order to gain anything, hey sis, make sure you read that uh, flyer, okay? Brother Israel, in order for you to gain something, that status of being special, do you think you just get it for free? Or do you think you must do something? You gotta do something. What do you think that is? Because this is coming from God, right? So what do you think your God wants you to do in order for you to actually become that special person? Come a little closer. I, I, got, I got bad ears. I can't really hear you. What do you think? You don't know? We're gonna show you. Read that. The book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass it shall come to pass. Is that now or is that in the future? When the Bible says it shall come to pass, is that talking about right now? In the future. Read. If thou wilt not hearken 
unto the voice of the Lord thy God. Israel, what does it mean to hearken? What do you think that means? Hearken. So hearken goes into listening. So our God is telling us if we don't hearken or listen to his commandments, read, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command thee this day, uh -huh. that the Lord, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Now Israel, is a curse a good thing or a bad thing? It's a bad thing, right? No matter what your age is, we all agree that a curse is a bad thing. What are some bad things that you see on your way home? Um, mostly like just people on the side of the road, like just doing bad stuff. People on the side of the road doing bad things. What bad things? Like drugs and stuff. Selling drugs, selling drugs to each other. That's There's nothing good about that, right? right. There's nothing positive. Have you ever been to neighborhoods outside of our neighborhoods? Have you ever been to, um, I'm quite sure you probably got some classmates. You ever visited their neighborhoods? What does it look like? Uh, sometimes it's nicer or worse. Mm, it's nicer, right? So that's what God is trying to tell his people, his children. We must obey. If we don't obey, if we don't obey we're going to have curses upon us. Those things are not good. Give me 45. What is something that you must do according to the Bible when it comes to your parents? Because that's a commandment as well, for you to obey your parents, right? If you don't do that, then those curses are going to come upon you as well, even at age 13. I'm quite sure you've probably seen some things that were unfair even at school, where somebody treated a teacher or something treated you differently because you're so-called Mexican, right? right? Those things only happen to us. So it's important for us to come back to who we are, what God calls us. What God call you? He call you Mexican or what? Issachar. Issachar. That is your God-given name. Matt, you know what? At age 13, outside of the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, that means you're more important than any other race on this earth. Any other 13-year-old boy, you are more special than them. That's what God says. How does that make you feel? Pretty good. Pretty good. That's a good thing. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 45. More. Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee uh -huh. and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. Don't you see the destruction that's happening in our neighborhoods? We're killing ourselves like we said about drugs. We, we, we're actually, we got young people that are shooting each other, playing with guns, right? Those things are happening in our neighborhood, but those are what? What did God call them? Curses. Right. He read. Till thou be destroyed, mm -hmm. because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God. That's that word again, hearken. God says, because we didn't hearken, which means to what? To listen. You're a smart young man. Read. To keep his commandments. To keep his what? What are his commandments? Where are his commandments found? What are we reading out of? The Bible. God's commandments are found in the Bible. Read. And his statutes, which he commanded thee, uh -huh. and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. A sign. Israel, what does a sign do? How do you know how to get to your house? There's a sign. So understand what the Bible is teaching us. The curses are going to be upon God's people as a sign. You can see that sign because look at our people strung out on drugs. Look at our people having to work out here cleaning windshields just to earn money, earn wages. Do you see any other race of people out here going through that? Outside of the, no, right? It's only happening to us, why? Because we are God's people. God gave us commandments to obey out of his Bible. And because we didn't obey, he was gonna put what on us? Curses. So it's important for us to come back to who we are according to the Bible. Now, what's the date? Saturday. Saturday, right? So what day did God tell us to, to honor and worship him? What day is it out of the week that we're supposed to come together and worship God? On Sunday? Let's see what. How many days in the week are there? The seven, right? 
So we're going to see what the Bible says, and I'm going to see if you're paying attention and see if you can figure out which day he's talking about. Read. The book of Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Now Israel, if, if, if somebody was to tell you to remember, why would they have to tell you to remember something? Because you were probably what? Forget. You're a smart young man. Read. Remember the Sabbath day uh -huh. to keep it holy. So we're talking about the Sabbath day, okay? Read. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day. What number did he just read? Seventh day. It's the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the Bible just told us that the seventh day is the Sabbath. The Sabbath day is the day that we're supposed to rest, come together, and honor our God and come together as a body of people. So what day is the seventh day? You got your, ah, there you go. But what day do most of our people go to church? But Sunday is what day of the week? There's only seven days. There you go. So if, if God says the seventh day, but our people are going on the first day, we're breaking God's what? Remember, he said if we don't obey and keep his commandments. commandments. So it's a commandment for us to actually keep the Sabbath day, which is today. Right. Now you know that God's holy day that he set between us and him is what day? Saturday. You understand that? Now, what can't we do on this day? There's something we're not supposed to be doing on this day. What do you think that is? We're not supposed to be buying or selling on this day. That's how we honor God's holy day. Okay? Read that. Verse 10. But the seventh day, but the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. Uh -huh. In it thou shall not do any work. We're not supposed to be working on this day. If we were keeping God's commandments, you wouldn't see us out here. We would actually be in rulership. And the people that are over us now, guess what? They would be working for who? For us. Now imagine that at age 13, that you got servants. How would you feel about that? That meaning you got somebody that's going to wait on you hand and foot. Whatever you ask of them, you are going to command them in righteousness, not wickedly, but you're going to have servants that are actually waiting on you to command them what to do. Wouldn't you like that? How, would we, how are we going to get that? What must we do? What do you think at age 13? Keep the commandments. I hear your thing going off. You got a flyer? Check that information out, okay, young man? Make sure you show that to your parents. Obey your father and your mother. That's a commandment, okay? IUIC TV, where we are recreating the narrative for the black family. As the Bible says, where there's no vision, the people perish. The media have been vehicles that have conveyed destructive images of God's children, the blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Not only are we in the streets, but we are on the airwaves and networks compelling our people to come back to their heritage. Tune in to IUIC TV. What is the nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is you. It's Nation Time.